you ask me why I write this, well that's a loaded question. I guess I'm telling stories, notebooks full of lessons. I live on writer's block, the notion comes and goes. Just up that country road is my humble bungalow. Lived in Cali with moms and Alaska with pops. First half of my life in no particular chaos. Busted at 16 for brawl and learned all about law and order. Couple months for assault and battery, it had to be done. What is good everybody? Welcome to the channel. I appreciate you tuning in. Today gonna take you somewhere real cool, so stick around. It's time to recaffeinate. Cool. Okay, one, two, three. Kapuyen Zhao Gao Nung. Kapuron Kap. Crunch, crunch, crunch. need to change cause when the record spins I feel the needle in my veins carry a harebrained medley up a heavenly stairway paraphrasing how I made it through that barely phase getting married to the melody save the date we'll have steak and crab cakes on paper plates had to do it for status improvement maybe it happened in my imagination lavish illusion we keep it equal like math solutions preaching to the masses in a class full of students call shotgun in a cop car they made me sit in the back 80 chug a rock star and then take a nap i was young once before the bah humbug now i fight the good fight like a bug bug <laughs> man we made it on rock tie just about blew the engine up in the car getting here you're up at 1800 meters above sea level and you've got a population of under a thousand people in this village and it was initially settled by Chinese who were KMT troops, anti-communist troops who were fleeing from Burma. And uh, over the years, they ended up fighting for Thailand, kind of holding the borderline against communism. And now you're gonna get a lot of mixed ethnicities here from different hill tribes and Chinese and Chinese Thai mixed in. But it's a small little village but a very rich, interesting history. So cute. <laughs> Yum. Lucky boy. So we drank some tea, copped some dried strawberries, found a hotel room, and then it was Operation Grub Mode. Needed to find some food. Yeah, he's got a look at his outfit, yeah? It's very cool, huh? It's very cool. Okay. Wow! One more time, one more, one more time. time. Alonso. Yeah. Backwards too. What about? Too old. That was bomb. Oh, Quentin Tarantino here, focusing on a new motion picture. Hey. After that meal, we went to go check out the Instagram famous Lee Wine Rock Thai Resort.
Bye bye. Lee Wine Rock Tide did not disappoint. That place truly is beautiful up there. Up in the tea plantations, checking out the views of the lake. Unreal. Highly recommend it if you do make it here. And you don't have to be staying there to go visit. I think it's just a really cheap entrance fee or something. Um, so, we also caught some bikes conveniently from them and went out exploring for some sunset adventures, which was a blast. Hey, little hi. Hey, Zoe. Zoe, Zoe, bye bye, Daddy. Zoe. Okay, bye. Bye bye, Daddy. Ciao. <laughs> Man, that was fun. So, here's the views from our balcony at the Shasa Resort. We splurged and got a room here for one night. So, we just checked out the grounds around the hotel, then went back to the room, watched some TV. Had a hot shower, ate some two-minute noodles, and that was it. Wrapped up the night, had an early one with the family.
dim, dim bird. Dim, dim bird. What a beautiful place to wake up in. Coffee hit the spot and it was necessary and we booked a boat with them for the following morning as well. Say bye, say bye peace. Hey, sir. Hello. Hey, sir. Hey, good boy. Yeah. Hey, good boy. Yeah. Hey, good Spin it for Danny. Spin, spin, spin. Yeah, buddy. We had a real good breakfast at the hotel before we checked out. Had Chinese hot buns, rice soup, noodles, hot coffee. We're all fueled up and ready to go for the day. Boy. <laughs> hey dude, where's my boy?
So we checked out of Shasa Hotel and checked into a spot that was just a little bit cheaper right down on the lake. So we just kicked it at the hotel for the afternoon and the boy had a big sleep. When he got up, we all got ready and went out in search of some dinner. Found this real good noodle spot right on the lakefront and it was pretty chilly so it's exciting for a nice hot bowl of noodles with some good oolong tea and it was a great place to set up and just people watch, watching the world go by in Ban Rak Thai. Wrapping up an amazing day. Cheers for watching. This place is unreal. Next morning we were up and at him real early. Little man was ready to go, charged up to go get on that boat in full Santa gear, ready for action. What are we going to do, man? We're going to go ride some boats? Yeah? On the boat? Make sure you get there early so you can order your coffee in time and you can bring it out with you on the boat to enjoy. Man, you can't beat that. Yeah? Should we sit out here? Morning from Ban Rak Thai. I've been on a boat, hey? Alonzo, are you on a boat? Yeah, yeah, do you like a boat? Hi, okay, now this one, okay, daddy, hot. Yeah.
Banatai, about a kilometer away from Myanmar, and uh, it's pretty difficult to get to, but it's unreal. Spending the morning on the boat with Santa Claus. <laughs> Magic moments with the family that I will cherish forever. Want me help? One, two, three. Don't hurt your butt. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? We made our way back to the hotel, fueled up on a big breakfast, checked out, and then made our way to Mei Hong Son. Had a nice omen waiting for us at the car. Stick insect for good luck. And we just really loved our time in Ban Rak Thai and recommend this place if you get an opportunity to come here. Definitely do it, but it's not a fast-paced place. Not a lot of options, not a lot to do, really. So if you want a place to slow down and unwind, this is your jam. If not, maybe it's not. But I appreciate you watching. And uh, she was like, who the heck is you, Falong? Um, I appreciate your time, and we got more content coming. If you love Thailand, maybe think about giving me a subscribe. I won't let you down. All right, catch you on the next one. Peace.